I've done it again. I've booked another unique hotel. I first fell in love with Yotel when I stayed at the Yotel in Gatwick Airport. This one was a seven square meter capsule room. I've actually put my luggage in the bathroom here with me. Absolutely tiny. So when I got the opportunity to come here to San Francisco, I immediately searched to see if they have a Yotel. And indeed, they did. But this time I'm in an eight square meter hotel room. Oof, spacious. But this layout is super different to the layout at the Gatwick Airport Hotel because this one is not only on one floor, but three different levels. Let's give you the full room tour. Here we are at the front door. So as you walk in, you are immediately greeted by, well, everything. My kitchen, my work area, my sink, my bathroom, my closet. Let me show you. So to my left, when I walk in, is my beautiful toilet zone. And right next to that is my shower. Not just any shower though. A rainfall shower in an eight square meter hotel room. What I really like about your hotel is they seem to provide really good quality body wash, shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, all of the things that you would need but maybe you don't have room to bring yourself and your luggage, they seem to provide it. I also really love how they give this option as well. Sometimes I don't want to get my hair wet, so one of these is extremely handy to just avoid the head zone, if you know what I mean. And this whole bathroom section is really super spacious. We've got a towel rack. Over here, there is an option to use their laundry or dry cleaning service. Over here has kind of become my wardrobe. I've got a bunch of coat hangers and hooks for my hats and jackets. Nice little space over here for bags. They've also got a hair dryer. And then down below here is a really nice space for me to place my small suitcase. And in here is a laptop sized safe. This is really handy because a lot of hotels you go to they give you the teeniest little safe that doesn't fit anything. Great job, your hotel. And just underneath the stairs over here, we have this little workstation desk table zone. We've got a really cool yellow light that works via just simply touching it like this. We have a phone, a bunch of different outlets, this really nifty little stool, and an ironing board. We do have an iron as well that's located just down in the shelf by my bag. Now follow me up to the second level. The most exciting part about this whole hotel room has to be the fact that there are three different levels on it. I can't believe how well they have utilized all this space. Up here I would say is the living room. Come and have a look. So this down here is like a little triangle shaped, big foamy feeling thing with two little things. When I first saw this I thought it would be very hard and awkward and I'd never sit here but to my surprise I've actually sat here at least twice a day. What's also really nice is there's a big gigantic mirror here. They have placed this so perfectly you have a plenty of room over on the stairs to check and see what you look like before you leave the room. Love it. Absolutely love it. There are also these big giant windows which I honestly haven't opened until now. And I'm just staring at basically the top of a building and over at some more windows that look kind of creepy. So I'm gonna just keep this closed as I have been. But there is a view if you want. And now for my favorite and most cozy bit, the bedroom, which is on a mezzanine level. Just up a bunch of stairs, we'll come to the third level of the room. And welcome to the bedroom. This is a really nice, I'd say, double bed. It fits me perfectly. I don't think I'd want to stay in this with Ludwig though. This room is definitely good for a solo traveler, for sure. I have four incredible pillows. I love it when hotels have really gigantic, squishy pillows that are just so hefty. I love it, and I love that I have four. I have literally slept with four every single night, like this, just enjoying every moment. And this bed is extremely comfortable as well. The sheets feel really clean, really crisp. I love that word, crisp. 
Also really nice up here is they have some more little lights that have a couple of different settings so it's really well lit. Even though it's up high, it could feel like really grungy up here but it actually feels really light and it's a really cozy, comfortable space. They've again got outlets here so you can charge things as you sleep, got plenty of counter space just up here and one of the coolest things up here is that they've got a smart TV and a pretty decent size as well. This whole thing just feels like a little tree house. Another thing I've noticed with the Yotel hotels is that they've been mega quiet no noise really really peaceful I don't know if they soundproof the walls really well or just the types of people who stay at Yotel really want their peace and quiet and it's a really respectful space not sure I truly think I could live in this space very very comfortably so this Yotel is in actually kind of a dodgy area and I actually found that out because as my uber driver was dropping me off here late-ish at night he was like, oh darling, are you staying here? He said, this is not such a nice area to kind of watch out for myself. So, not the greatest area, it's called Tenderloin, but the hotel itself couldn't have felt more safe for me this entire stay. The doors are always locked, so you have to use your key card to get into the front door, and there is always a security guard and someone on the front desk 24 seven. Also located in this hotel, they have an awesome fitness center. That's on the very, very bottom floor, the basement. That gym is super well equipped, tons of cardio equipment, tons of weights, kettlebells, mats, balls, you name it, they've got it. And every time I've been, there's been no one there. Is it just me or am I the only one who gets extremely excited when I'm the only person in the entire fitness center in my hotel? They've also got a really cool and trendy foyer with lots of couches and seating areas that you can chill out at with beautiful big windows. And like I said, there's always someone there working to answer your questions if you have any. It's also a very high tech hotel. So to check in, you have the option to go to the person working here or you can just simply use the iPads that they have on display. I have noticed there's usually quite a big line as there's only one person on the front desk. So I opted to use the iPad most of the time and it was very, very easy and simple to use. On their next level up, they have a really cool co-working space which is this nice big countertop lots of outlets lots of seats a few more little cozy couches and chairs and what i thought was really cool is if you want to work in the hotel but you need a little bit of quiet in the background maybe the co-working space isn't going to work for you they also have private offices where you can make phone calls video calls really nice offices the details they've included here are amazing this is a great place to stay if you're on a workation or you're working while on holiday this hotel will really allow you to get your work done because of how much they offer it just feels so motivating to work here as well it feels fun I did notice as well they have a vending machine for adapters in case you forgot a certain adapter maybe you're not from the US you can buy something that's gonna help you to plug your things in the wall how fantastic and lastly they have a club room which is again really really stylish lovely lighting loads of different places to sit even these separate little booths seat chair things everything is outlets they've got a vending machine in there with a ton of different stuff they offer free breakfast between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. in the morning but beware you want to get there really early apparently between 7 and 7 30 is the time to get there otherwise it's kind of first come first serve and you could miss out I went there this morning and they had two different types of burritos a meat burrito and a veggie burrito plus a whole bunch of cookies muesli bars muffins and that sort of thing and my favorite part of course is the coffee machine and the coffee is completely completely free. Whew. My goodness, being a tourist is very tiring, especially when you're trying to film everything, research loads of facts. It is about time I have free coffee in my hotel. I'm so thankful these guys have free coffee and it's really good coffee. Thank goodness. Well, I hope you enjoyed this cute little room tour in the Yotel San Francisco. Let me know down below, would you like to stay here? Or even better, could you also live in a space like this? Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe because in the next video, I embark on one of my biggest bucket list adventures. I'm hopping on a train that's gonna take me all the way from San Francisco to New York City. Four days on a train crossing the entire country of America. Get ready to join me on this very fun adventure. Can't wait to see you next week. Bye.